So how could a couple of drones shut down one of Europe's busiest airports? Well, the problem lies in the damage the drones could do. On the surface, it's a straightforward safety issue. Even a small drone can cause serious damage if it collides with the wrong part of a plane. Drones can also be used for surveillance by criminals or militants. Or worse, they can be weapons, like these used by Islamic State as bomb carriers. Once a drone is detected near an airport, it needs to be disabled. This can be done by either interfering with its navigation system or by simply shooting it down. Authorities at Gatwick were hesitant to use guns because of the danger posed by stray bullets. And jamming tactics can be risky in an airport where there are other critical communication systems. Turning to other news now, the U.S. government has begun a partial shutdown after lawmakers could not pass a federal budget. That's a result of wrangling over President Donald Trump's demands for a $5 billion to build his border wall. Congressional leaders in the White House have pledged to keep talking through the weekend in search of a deal. Now, the impasse began earlier this week. Mr. Trump refused to agree to a deal cut by both Democrats and Republicans because it did not include the money needed to construct a wall on the U.S. border with Mexico. Democrat lawmakers argued that U.S. taxpayers should not have to pay for the wall. A bill that included the funding was later passed in the House of Representatives, but it ran aground later in the state.